Hello students, let us take a look at the last question of exercise 11.1 of chapter 11 constructions. So the question read, the fifth one, the question reads, construct an equilateral triangle given its side. So you, we've been given a side PQ, just by using a side, we need to draw an equilateral triangle. So what do we know about an equilateral triangle? That all the sides and all the angles of the triangle are equal and each angle is equal to 60 degrees. So now we have PQ as one side. We know that the remaining two sides will also be the, the same length as that of PQ. So what I'm going to do, this construction is very simple. I'm going to take this length PQ. And I'm going to construct an arc. Right? So with P as my center, I cut an arc through Q. Now I'm not going to change this length. And using C as my, uh, Q as my center, I'm going to cut an arc through P. Right? I'll mark this point of intersection of the arcs as R. So this is the point. Now you know that arc RQ is equal to arc RP because we've drawn them using the same length on the compass. So I'm going to draw their corresponding arcs. So how do I draw the corresponding arcs, uh, sorry chords? I'm going to join R to P and R to Q. So this triangle so formed RPQ is an equilateral triangle. Each of this, uh, these angles is equal to 60 degrees and all the sides are equal. So this is 60 degrees, 60 degrees and 60 degrees. So your construction and proof is as follows. Steps. So your first step, draw line segment PQ. Then your second step is take length PQ on compass and draw an arc through Q with P as center. Now without changing this length, draw an arc through P and Q as center. Mark the point of intersection of arcs as R. Then what you're going to do is draw RP and RQ. Therefore, you have triangle RPQ is an equilateral triangle. And your proof is as follows. You have arc PR is equal to arc QR. Right? Therefore, you have chord PR is equal to chord QR. Let's mark this as 1. But you had P 
PQ the same as QR, right? Length PQ. Through construction. Therefore, from 1 and 2, what do you get? Therefore, you have PQ is equal to QR, which is equal to PR from 1 and 2. Therefore, what do you have? Therefore, triangle PQR is an equilateral triangle. So please take a look at the construction as well as the solution. Thank you for watching this video. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.